Hello everyone, this is Eternal Enchanting and we are here playing The Witch's House. I am really excited because I love RPG Maker games and I've heard a lot of good things about The Witch's House. I haven't actually played any of it. I went through and I recorded to see if the sound was alright. But I don't actually know a lot about it. Uh, it's an indie game, RPG Maker, and the sound is a little loud, I think, but I don't really think there's anything I can do about it, so hopefully that'll be okay. Alright, let's begin. Uh, I'm really excited. I heard that it's like super duper, just like off. So, mm -mm. okay, it's a little girl looking around. someone's house, and then out of the forest. What's this? Alright. Oh, letter in your pocket. Read. Mind if you go to her house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Dad. Is that like part of a letter? It looks like part of a letter to me. Like the end of it. I don't know though. I assume, unless somebody just... Part of a letter. Um, hello, Mr. Kitty. You're up and out of, eh? Sure am, Mr. Kitty. Is that all you got to say? Humans shouldn't be out here. Too dangerous. Oh! Oh, pff, I already knew that, dog. I didn't see the letter last time. I was really surprised at the cat for some reason. Like, oh, right. I've done this before. The way out is blocked by a, starting, a startlingly huge patch of roses. Okay. Roses everywhere. Cold, seemingly artificial roses. Okay. Cold, seemingly artificial roses. Oh, there's a shiny. Okay. I get it. I found something rusty and sharp. Got a machete. Is that what I want? Just leave. How do you use items? Oh no! I think I. Oh. Okay, so. Okay. No, all right. I already know how to move. Okay, I get it. Well, it was nice of them to like tell you that. Okay, so I guess we're gonna cut the roses. Items. Machete. Cut roses. Yeah. Alright. Can't even make a dent in them. It's a really crappy machete. Kitty's gone. Yeah. Question mark. I got you, girl. Alright, so what was this? Like someone's house? Oh, I guess we came here to see them because the note was like. Small patch of roses. If this machete can't cut the small patch of roses, and this isn't a machete, I don't care how old it is, they're just roses. They're not made of steel. They're just roses. Cut roses. Alright. Sounds like cutting to me. The way is cleared. The machete broke. It's the worst machete ever. No wonder somebody just threw it off into the forest. It's an awful machete. More secret paths. He's shiny, so I don't think so. Alright, guess not. I don't care what you say about this place. It has a great garden. Mossy tree stump. Oh, kitty's back. Kitty is back. Alright, they don't... Alright, there doesn't look like there's anything over there. <sighs> Alright, hello, Mr. Kitty. Or not. Kitty? Kitty. Huh? What is it? Hmm. So the way out is blocked up. Blah, blah, blah. So the way out is blocked up by roses. <laughs> That's really ominous. You gonna go in? Might as well if you can't leave. Yeah, fair enough. Actually. <laughs> um, can we save again? Yes, sorry. That's good. To be perfectly honest, if I was in... Alright, well, it just 
looks ominous, doesn't it? Like, do you see, like, the little fog? I guess it's everywhere, but seriously, I wouldn't... Hmm, you can't leave the forest. Might as well go into the house. Well, I guess she did come here for this, so I guess she's used to it. Rin lives here or something, whatever. I don't know, I guess that's pretty. It's just, it looks like a haunted house. To be perfectly frank with all of you. The candle flames sway curiously. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's gonna be one of these games, isn't it? All right, that's fine. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. <sighs> how are we? Nope. Don't go through. Okay. Ha! Oh God. All right. How are we supposed to? Is that okay? So we just- ah! I was going to say we just can't step on the blood. As it turns out, I was only one step away from the blood. I thought I was more than one. God. I feel like an idiot. Alright. Careful. Nope! Okay. Just read the note. Come to my room. Nope, no blood. Um. Alright. Just go with it. Yo! Decided I'd follow you for laughs. Incidentally, where the heck did you come f out from? Um. Pfft, your guess is as good as mine, Mr. Kitty. I don't... <laughs> this game is gonna have a lot of cheap shots, isn't it? A large clock. Time marches on. Okay. Um, it's not lit. Which is diary. Yeah, I'll read it. I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Is that it? <laughs> Alright. Well, if you, I guess if you're going to keep a diary, you might as well keep it short and sweet. Flower adorns the desk. It says, open when the house returns to normal. So is this... Hmm. So the house isn't normal. So I guess that's why it changed, I guess. So when it stops changing, come get it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I love how out of place this looks. If things a lot of dark colors and it's just presents right here. A teddy bear resting. A blah, blah, blah. A teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. Take teddy bear. Yeah. Go to teddy bear. Presents are mad. I took the teddy bear. A pile of presents and empty cookie tins. Well, I guess her parents didn't hate her that much if, you know, she had a party where she got presents. Oh, we could have enjoyed his friend. Bear's in the basket. I will definitely put the bear in the basket. The basket has a big teddy bear in it. There's a little bit of room left. Here you go, little teddy bear. A big stuffed teddy bear. The limbs make it too big to fit. I have a really bad feeling about how gruesome this game is going to be. Uh, yep, we'll save it. Scissors, yep. Alright. An old jester, there's nothing inside. It's locked. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. Yep, we'll take them. They're chained to the bench. Yep, get off their limbs. Uh, the teddy bear torse, yep, yeah. Bloody scissors on the- 
yeah, my my friend told me this was kind of this game was um kind of I don't know. She just she expressed to me that it was like the most twisted game she'd ever played, and I didn't believe her, but it's certainly shaping out to be very teddy bear blood is all I'm going to say. All right, let's go. <clears throat> We're not going to say anything about that. We're just going to let that happen. <sighs> okay. Whatever you want. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a really compulsive saver. Like, Candles are out! <laughs> they are no longer curious. I think I got everything up there. Um... Limbless teddy bear. It's red where its limbs were. Oh god. Put in basket, yeah. Stuff the teddy bear torso in the basket. That's not a big teddy bear, though. Seriously, that's not a big teddy bear. Like, look at the little head compared to the other head. You could easily fit another teddy bear. Like, with its arms in there. Easily. They're squishy. Teddy bears, I don't know if you all knew this, but teddy bears are squishy. We just mercilessly, like, tortured a teddy bear to death. And... Yeah, that's definitely a red paw print, isn't it? Did I say anything about that? Yeah, I definitely feel like it wasn't there before. You and me are... Let's tell us this girl's... Viola. Age 13. Viola. She's pretty little. I don't know. It was a, that's a good picture. I really like RPG Maker games, like, with their, uh... Like, with the art they have, because it's very... Um... It's very... about what just happened. Oh, God. The teddy, bears bear, the teddy bear limbs are on the ground. Yeah, I've got teddy bear limbs. The art style is very nice, is what I was going to say. Shotgun, come back. 
This is the a strangely colored soup in a skull shaped bowl. never a good thing when the game is like, Are you sure? Really? Ugh. Ugh. Come back. No. Ugh. Lined with tableware, glasses, and seasonings. Nothing particularly eye-catching. Go for a couple more minutes. Um, nothing particularly, particularly eye-catching. A rusty stove. Someone invisible here. Talk. Ah, I'm busy. So busy. Cook is busy. Lend a hand. Lend a hand. Oh, thank you. The invisible person grabs your arm. <sighs> oh, gosh. Yeah, it's definitely one of those games. They push your wrist onto the cutting board. A hand is exactly what I need. You know what? I think that's a, that's a good place to call it quits. 